Hello, I wanted to show you how to make a quick card using Stampin' Up's textured impressions embossing folders. I will be using the Stampin' Up Manhattan Flower one for this project. For my background, I'm going to start with some soft suede, and that'll be five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to use some baby blue, approximately three inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay. To run the embossing, to do the embossing, first you need your multi-purpose platform. Going to tab one, you'll see where it shows the embossing folders is what you're supposed to do here. Um, you're going to use the bottom part plus your tab one, a cutting pad, your folder with your paper, and then another cutting pad on top. So basically your sandwich is going to start with this. Then you're going to position the paper where you want it inside your folder, making sure your arrow is pointing towards the machine. I'm going to put it so that it's most of the big flower, most of the big flower, and then a little bit of the little flower. Using my cutting pads, I'm going to create my sandwich. Okay, and then basically you push it through a little bit to get it started, and then you crank the wheel, holding everything in place. Then out the other side comes your embossed picture. Okay, just using a little bit of snail adhesive on the back of this. I'm going to center it along the top part of the card. Okay, using the new Stamp It Up Soft Suede Polka Dot Ribbon, I'm going to cut off about 16 inches. I'm going to tie the ribbon in a knot. Making sure that when I pull this other side through, I'm going to twist it over so that the polka dots are on the back. Okay, now using a piece of white cardstock, approximately one inch by five and a quarter inches, I'm going to stamp my message. Um, this card was basically designed so that if you make a whole stack of cards, you can stamp what your message is later. You don't have to do it right away. I really like this new Teeny Weeny Wishes stamp set. Titles are all approximately the same size. So say today you need a birthday card, but tomorrow you need um, a get well card. You can do it all with this one stamp and this card. Since these are all fairly small, I'm going to use uh, the marker, the soft suede marker, and my stamp of a jig. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in the bottom corner, just a happy birthday. Then I'm going to put this on the bottom, lining up the same margins. As I did the top, bend it in a little bit, slide my ribbon down, there you go.